Welcome to the channel, everybody. Good to be here with you. <laughs> On my way home, I got, um, walk by faith not by sight so do it that way you will collective energy please spirit collective energy what storyline would you like to share with the collective spirit collective energy please spirit Victory, forward movement, the chariot, and the ten of cups. So you've gained a victory and you're moving forward into divine love and family contentment. Blissful relationships. Challenged by <laughs> challenged by releasing the baggage. Six of Swords in the upright. Challenged by releasing the baggage and moving on. Yeah. In the subconscious. In the subconscious, you've got the nine of wands in the upright. Resilient, faith tested. Persistently holding your boundaries. In the recent past, We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Hard work, routine, responsible, slow and steady. It's those baby steps, you know, like you take baby steps doo -doo -doo -doo, and it feels like you're not making any progress. You're never getting anywhere. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you gotta take a couple steps back and so you've lost ground and it's, it's disheartening and all of that. The slow and steady. It is like the, the, um, the crest and fall of a river or an ocean. This flow to life. Intentions and expectations. Emperor. The emperor. In the upright. Made a good investment. And is here. With um, structure and discipline. In the near future. We've got teamwork, three of pentacles on the upright, building something. A new enterprise. In the lens that's being looked through. Huh. 
Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You've got this, all these new potential beginnings, this desire, the will, and the financials to do it. In the environment, <clears throat> conflict. Somebody wants to fight over your... Um, your Ace of Pentacles and your Ace of Wands. Hopes and fears. <laughs> Victory. And the outcome. Driven to succeed. Defending their beliefs. Queen of Cups is celebrating, compassionate, emotionally stable. Nostalgia and the Empress. A return to um, innocence or a happy time. This Empress, this fertile mother, the fertile mother and justice is served. So you've got the Empress here, right? And the Emperor is right there. So they're reunited. They're back together. So the Chariot, the Ten of Cups, there's a win for divine love. There's a win for divine love. And there could very well be a departure for divine love. Divine love is about ready to take off. Into their blissful dream come true. Here and now. Yeah, it's about ready to happen. It's about ready to happen. Attention. It's gotten a lot of attention. Challenged by releasing the baggage. Releasing the baggage of this long and drawn out affair. Privilege. Resilient, persistent, peaceful. Slow and steady, persistent, achievement. <clears throat> no conflict. Hard work hard work. The emperor is here with stability and structure. Sending a message to a wise guy. The team is working here in the near future, building something, security, building security. We got kin. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, new projects, desire to create, sovereign. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, somebody wants to fight. Somebody wants to fight for your purpose. 
or maybe they're fighting because of whatever your purpose is, but you gain a victory over it. And you are being remembered. Getting public recognition. Somebody's thinking fast, rushing in to defend their beliefs. Trying to uh, find your location. Driver, so that they can manipulate you. So that they can manage you, handle you, you know, distract you from whatever it is you're doing and, you know, manage your output or your presence in the world. They want to drive you and the work you're doing because they're actually in competition with you. So they want to manipulate you because um, their justice is being served. You are conscientious. You kept your house clean. And these ones were um, causing drama for you. These vain people were causing drama for you. And they found it very entertaining for things. You're a creator. Double. And, that's a, and they're a snake. Devil for your trouble just came through my mind. The chariot, a journey, a victory for divine love, for blissful relationships. For family contentment. The trumpet is being blown. Attention is brought to this circumstance. Reflection. So a victory for the Ten of Cups. Let me just put these over here. Attention is being called to these to this reflection. You're moving away, you're releasing that baggage, you are entering into a status of privilege. You're leaving this, this, those who have habits, habitual patterns of, of hurting others. You're leaving them behind. They feel there's, they're challenged because they feel that there's unfinished business. They want to fight with you, but you're, you're holding your peace. So this is like, you're weary, like, but you're still peaceful. It's like it's an internal job 24 7. You know, somebody's going to come up and knock you off of your rocker, and you're going to get all, and then you're going to have to draw yourself back into your peaceful state. No matter what that is, you have to do it because it's important that you manage your own self. You don't want to be in a state of internal conflict, it's not healthy for the soul. So it was a good investment. You, in the, ba in, the, in the midst of this Nine of Wands battle, your effort to maintain your peace, I mean, you, you worked hard, routinely, with responsibility to make sure that you didn't put any conflict in the world and that you, it didn't run through your system. You worked very diligently to maintain your peace throughout all this conflict. 
that these reflections were bringing to you. And attention, it has, attention is brought to it. It's known. And you get to move on into a status of privilege. You didn't fight. You persevered. See, some were coming at you saying we're in competition, but you were never in competition with anybody. You were never in a fight with anybody. You were receiving all kinds of abuse and you were persevering through it. But there was never, there was never um, conflict coming from you. You were always this. And you had people coming at you in this energy all the time. Wanting to hit you up alongside the head, make you feel bad. While you were alone and separated from everybody. They have habitual patterns and they, and they won't change them. They don't think they'll ever be able to change them. They need more time to think. Unfinished business. You're weary, yet resilient, and holding your peace. And holding your peace. And somebody's in disagreement. It's like you're peaceful and they're pissed off. It's like they've been doing everything they can to, to dim your shine, to make you unhappy, to cause you, to bring you into a state of conflict, but you just refused. You worked really, really hard, slow and steady, maintaining hope that someday you would have this, and, it, and the day is here. The day is here. All your emotional and financial needs will be met. The emperor is here. <clears throat> Sending a message to this wise guy. They made mistakes. <laughs> Whose values were all about money. Their values were all about money. So this kin wants to mend, they're in the shadow. You, they see you as irreplaceable. And now they wanna work with you. But, but the truth is revealed. They, they, they're simply unsatisfied with the way things are going and they want to run away from their karma. So they want to um, mend the connection with you because they're confused and daydreaming of being with you. Because you are the Ten of Cups. You are the one who loves yourself. Your cups, all ten of them, are overflowing because you did the work. All ten of your freaking cups are overflowing because you worked very, very hard with hope to have your family and your responsibilities. And man, you prepared. You're prepared. You are prepared. You gained a victory. All ten of your freaking cups are full. And these people couldn't drain them out. Because you didn't stop loving yourself. You're like, man, I'm going to love me. And they're overwhelmed because they did everything to neglect you. They did everything to lie and sabotage you. To get you to detach you. To hold you back. And now they're getting what they gave you. They're getting reciprocation. Because there's an understanding of exactly what they did with this soul tie. They really screwed up. 
you're a sovereign being you have the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles and the ten of cups and the victory they want to escape you're the ticket out of here you're the get out of jail free card and they they tried they and they they tried to hurt you so freaking bad and now they need you they were fighting against your purpose and now they need you in your purpose to help them you gained a victory again a victory and public recognition and you're being remembered so victory double victory double victory you are in your purpose they're fighting with you in your purpose they're unworthy they're feeling broken and shattered because you are in your purpose and you're being remembered you gained a victory they want forgiveness they're defending their beliefs there's they want to know where you are they want to come toward you swiftly to make you understand they're being held back they're receiving what they gave you there's they're being held back they're being held back from your location they're being held back from your location they're receiving what they gave they're getting what they gave and you're getting reunion a reciprocal reunion you are also getting what you gave your ten of cups is full your ace of pentacles is here your ace of wands is here man you did a lot of work to mean your maintain your peace and you refuse to fight you didn't fight with these people whoever you're reuniting with wants to have a conversation with you they want to hear your voice and these ones um they did not appreciate you at all they they really unappreciate they did not and they you were not appreciated and they're you were they did not appreciate you and they're they were joking about how they were treating you an inseparable loving person a person with an inseparable love this emperor is so pissed off and it's an unexpected outcome yeah these ones boy they get what they they get what they get they get what they get this emperor they get everything he given them And you know what it is? Is this just a return? Of everything that had been called forth and released into the world. It's all going back to its source, the one who called it forth. And, and gosh, man, if they called it forth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Perseverance. Perseverance gains a victory. Perseverance for love gains a victory attention is being brought to the low vibrational people or people who are in the shadows envious people so there's attention to this you you are privileged you are victorious in your ten of cups in your six of swords your challenge is to release this baggage and to step into your privileged status these ones, these envious um, people feel that there's unfinished business. They have been separated from you and they have a lot of habits. They don't think they're going to change.
they're not happy. Man, they weren't happy when you were there. They're not happy now that you're gone. They're in fear. They think you should understand how they feel. Okay, you, they did this to you. <clears throat> they put this on you. They came at you like this, and you did everything. All you did, all you did was maintain your peace. All you did was fill up your love cups. You kept pouring into those love cups, and you graduated from one love cup, and you started getting more love cups, and you're like, man, because sometimes you got depleted in a big way, so you needed more than one love cup. So you got all your love cups, and you filled them all up for those times when they came against you like that. So you maintained your own peace by continuously filling up all your love cups, and these ones are in fear because you didn't perish. You didn't fight. You didn't go to war. You didn't get militant. You are here to serve relationships that are for the higher good. You are here in responsibility for the family unit. Empathy. You have empathy. You're open to seeing both sides of a situation. So you're here with data on both sides of the situation. The emperor is here um, sending a message to this wise guy whose values were all about money. Service. The emperor is here in service. Sending a message to this wise guy whose values were all about money. You are an irreplaceable person. There, um, these ones are in the shadows and they want to mend the connection, this kin. They now recognize, this kin now recognizes that you're an irreplaceable person and they want to mend, they want to mend the connection. But it's only because <laughs> They need you, and they thought that they could um, force you. They thought they could entrap you and drain you according to their own will, no matter how much it hurt you. They're not doing well now that they can't siphon off of you. At peace. You're at peace. You're an irreplaceable person. You are peace. Without you, there's no peace. Even during all of this, you maintaining your peace, constantly filling up those 10 love cups, these ones coming after you, draining it, knocking you out, and now you're not there. They can't drain your love cups, and they have to deal with all this that they've drummed up. You were the peace, but they've been disconnected from you because you refused to fight. You didn't lower yourself. You're a sovereign being. You've got your Ace of Pentacles and your Ace of Wands. It's like this has been, you, you picked your battle and this just wasn't one of them. They want to escape. And you, they lost, they lost their dream come true when they came for you. See, they thought they could force you and now, and they, they brutalized you because they thought for sure that they could get away with it. They didn't think that you would be able to overcome because hundreds of them were probably coming at you with all that energy to ensnare and trap and slave and make you suffer. But you know, you weren't lonely. You weren't sad, you weren't lonely, you weren't destitute. You're sovereign. You're enough on your own. You're an abundant, limitless being that can manifest whatever you desire in the physical reality. These ones were fighting against your purpose. They're feeling broken and shattered because they failed. You gained a victory. 
and you're being remembered. And they want your forgiveness. Imagination. Could be something going on with their mind. They're getting what they gave. If they gave mental disturbance, they could be receiving mental disturbance. They could be spinning and spinning and spinning. Whatever movie played for you might be playing for them. I don't know. They're here, um, fast thinking, driven to succeed, trying to defend their beliefs. They're being held back from your location. They are receiving what they gave. They're, they're getting reciprocity. Their pride. Humor. You're coming into an equal give and take that is going to be happy. It won't be work to maintain your peace. It will just be peaceful. These ones need to accept the things that they cannot change. You persevered. You persevered because you have gifts of the soul that benefit you and others, and they need to surrender their need to control them. They are, de they are being denied friendship. It's over. It's wild how, you know, it's like people do the same thing cycle after cycle after cycle, not thinking that they're ever going to get caught. And then when they get caught, it's like, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. And it's like, well, but no, because the heart has been tested and weighed and proven true to the frequency and desire that it's most comfortable in, right? Yeah. So one cycle goes and you do stuff and it's like, so then the Most High says, okay, we're going to do another cycle. Are you sure you want to continue behaving this way? And so the new cycle goes and it's like, yeah, over and over and over again, they continue. And it's like, okay, we're going to do another cycle. We're going to do cycle number three. Are you sure you want to continue doing this? Over and over and over again, 24 or seven, 365 days a year, seven years. Yeah. Yeah. They are pretty sure they want to continue doing that. And, you know, that's how it is, cycle after cycle. And then there comes a point, okay, cycle after cycle have occurred. Everybody is very certain of who they choose to be. And what they choose to put into the world. And so there's no, there's no question. That's the wonderful thing about the emperor, the leader, the real authority, emperor in the upright. They're going to they're gonna allow everybody ample opportunity to present authentically and transparently cycle after cycle after cycle. Free will choice. Verify. Please verify. Okay, please verify again. Are you sure? Please do this some more. Go ahead. And it's like, yeah, okay. <clears throat> and it's like, okay. <clears throat> this is what it is. And it's in a coffin. You gained a victory here with the chariot for the Ten of Cups, divine love and harmony. Attention has been brought to the reflections who were envious of your love and your light and your dream come true. And they are in the courthouse and they this is over. This is over. They're seen as dim reflections, dim, envious reflections. See, they don't have love in them. So they can't generate this. I mean, 
it requires a lot of work to fill up all those cups and keep them filled up. And there's no happiness in these ones. So wealthy man didn't get what he was expecting. You are seen as privileged and this relationship is ending. It's over. They're in disagreement. They feel you should um, understand how they feel. They're in fear. They're in fear because the lovers are coming together and you are at peace. This whole community of false people are getting a message of concern for the work that they did against you <clears throat> and they can't get you out of their mind. You refuse to quit. You refuse to fight. You are a great fortune. You are sudden wealth. <clears throat> you earned this because you didn't get all militant. You stayed peaceful. You stayed loving. You continued to be responsible. You continued to care about others and, their, and, and what was going on with them. You continued to be responsible. You didn't get all militant. You didn't get all warlike. You didn't want to go fight. And you've earned. You've earned it. Because you are it. You are a great fortune. Within you is this light. This beautiful light. And you are a great fortune. You are this bundle of peace. And you are going to get this. These ones knew it. That's why they were attacking you so hard. They wanted your pathway. Main female. The emperor is here in service, sending a message to this wise guy whose values were all about money. Uh, the Emperor is an official person here in service. And he's sending a message to this wise guy whose values are all about money that their pathway is closed. Or that they don't get to go on this pathway. This They don't get to go on this Ten of Cups pathway with this privileged lady. Mature man is, is, is a thief and he's in despair and, and in bad health over this. The emperor is not letting him near this privileged lady. He's like, no, you're not getting on her pathway. They're here in the shadows wanting to mend the connection. There's these kin, whoever these kin are that was working with this wise guy to um, to whatever they were doing with this irreplaceable person so they were doing stuff in a family room they're very concerned because they're in poverty or soon will be they want to fix this connection because you are their meal ticket you were the prize and they tried to destroy you they didn't want to destroy you all the way they just wanted to they just wanted to severely weaken you They wanted to remove your light and enjoy it and leave you down there constantly working to, re to fill up those Ten of Cups while they were constantly draining them. That's what they want to do. And they want to come in here and mend the connection so they can continue doing that. It requires relationship. They can't do it if they don't have your permission. They're facing poverty. They're in concern. Whatever they did in a family room, it's not working. This kin, you may not even, 
I don't even know. There, I, I really do feel that there's, there's something bigger to this. You are irreplaceable. You're at peace. And you are here with a team. With your team. Working with your team. Your privileged team and you. Have gained a victory for Ten of Cups unions. And you're here with the Emperor. So you got eight, you're a sovereign being. You're not lonely. You have your Ace of Pentacles, your Ace of Wands. And these ones went to escape because they could not get your unexpected income. So they want to come in here and make friends because whatever they did in a family room got them in poverty rather than your wealth. So because they couldn't steal it, they got to come forward and, and try to make friends with you because they couldn't steal it. They want to escape. They have to, they got to get your permission to take part in your abundance. But you know what they do with your abundance, right? You already know that because you've been through it with the whole cycle. You've experienced their brutality. You know what they think of you really. Mature man. Bringing, comp bringing conflict and competition for your purpose, for your sense of status, for your position in life. They're feeling broken and shattered because they failed. You gained a victory. You're being remembered. They want forgiveness. There's, it was all in the imagination. There's something going on with their mental body. Journey. Journey. They're, in a, they're going on a journey of the mind. They're in a journey of the mind. They're being taken for a ride. They're remembering what they did to you and they're asking forgiveness. Well, they should have to deal with it at least as long as you had to deal with it. Main male. So um, those who were, um, those who are trying to defend their beliefs, they're being held back from your location. You are entering a period of reciprocity and they're getting reciprocity too, but you're entering a period of lighthearted, um, humorous, happy reciprocity with the main male, main male. Okay, main female. Responsibilities. And these ones are in bad health over it because they got cut off from you because you're in a courtship because your courtship is happening there's a change for this thief on the distant horizons there's something going on with the house this false person is all up in their thoughts about a message of concern regarding work that this community did. They're in despair. They're in despair over this privileged lady's marriage because they're facing imprisonment for the toil and labor that they did against these lovers. It's in the court system. They're getting the message That she's innocent and a high honor gift. It's so amazing how the truth just comes out, isn't it? Eventually, it just has to.
sometimes it feels like it could take a long time for that to happen. But you have to allow time so that evidence can be collected and there be no doubt whatsoever and no defense. You know, if you if, if people choose stuff often enough for a long enough period of time, then eventually there's just no way you can even possibly defend it. You can't say, oh, but I didn't know or I didn't mean to or whatever because no, it was proven time and time again they knew exactly what they were doing. And this can be in any situation, you know. Anybody who's who's got a habitual pattern of nastiness of some sort. So there's been a victory gained for divine love, a vow. A victory gained for the vow the spiritual vow, the integrity of um, connection. Because it's not, you know, under the, you know, uh, what is it? You know, they say these man, mankind judges, whatever, in the eyes of God or whatever, you know. So like in spirit and in flesh, there is a vow. In spirit and in flesh, there is a vow. And you've gained a victory over these envious reflections. <coughs> There's a tension brought to brought to the envy. It's in the in, in the courthouse and it's in the coffin. Like this is over. It's it's over. You're a sweetheart. You're privileged. You're sovereign and you're moving on. This this is ending. This wealthy man didn't get what they were expecting. They're not happy. They've got habitual patterns. They don't think they'll ever change. They're alone. They feel that there's unfinished business. Their whole network of friends who were working against the, uh, this main female and her uh, marriage, they're frightened and they're suffering natural disasters. <clears throat> because Empress main female is at peace. She's got a great fortune of peace. She's she's got so much peace flowing through her body. She's constantly filling up these 10 of cups. Overflowing abundance overflowing wealth still able to accrue and manifest wealth even while in this position even while caring about those who are putting her in that position she wasn't fighting with them it was all a daydream. It was an illusion. She wasn't fighting with them. There was no conflict. It was an illusion. And they're out of time. The emperor is here on schedule. And um, these mask wearers are bound to their commitments for trying to rob you. Their pathway is closed. They want to come and mend this connection with you, these kin. Because whatever they did in the family room, it backfired or whatever, and they're in poverty. They're concerned. They're in the shadows. You are an irreplaceable, peaceful person. Peace, peace. You already got an abundance of peace and happiness. You're a sweetheart. You care about family. You care about family. But now you're disconnected from them and you don't have to care about those who tried to destroy you and imprison you and cause you un, um, untold amounts of suffering. You don't have to. You're a caring person. You're a sovereign being 
and you're not lonely. They could not make you lonely. They tried to make you lonely, but you are a sovereign being in union with the Most High, connected. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna separate people, but then there's their their strength with spirit just grows stronger and stronger. It's weird how people who think they're so intelligent fail to think of all these little details. It's weird. I don't understand it. But your alliances um, saw you calm, cool, and collected. They consider you a sovereign being. Even when you were alone, you weren't lonely. They, these alliances um, feel that you are worth saving. You got an Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and these ones went to escape because they didn't get the money they lost. They could be losing pets. They could be losing um, other things that they've loved. They brought conflict to your status, to your purpose, to your... They're feeling broken and shattered because they failed. This mature man is going through withdrawals, being rejected. You gained a victory. They're remembering what they did to you. They're asking for forgiveness. They're, they're on a journey in the mental body. Illness. They're sick. They're sick in the head. They're um, sick in the mental body. They could be homeless. They could be cast away. They're cast away. The emperor has cast them away. They are bound to their commitments that they made while wearing masks in the attempt to rob you and steal your pathway. And again here, you've got self-love. You love yourself. You love yourself. While they were trying to do all these horrible things, you turned around and you started collecting cups. And you started talking to God and you started filling up your cups and telling God how beautiful the freaking flowers were. These ones want to apologize because they're being held back from your location. They cannot come and talk to you. They cannot come and, and um, no, no, they can't not come to you. They can't come to you, death. No. See, they want to apologize because they're facing death. You've earned a lot of merit through all of this. Remaining peaceful, not going militant, not retaliating, not sending back, not wishing harm or ill will, maintaining your peace of mind, your heart of love, maintaining empathy and caring for others and so. You just practiced filling up love cups. You got really good at it. You got all these love cups now. And now you're going to go out here, get married to somebody else, and look at this great fortune you're bringing into this new family tree. Look at that great fortune you and the main male get to share. These ones are in a nightmare. They were in pride and they worked really hard against you. <clears throat> they were stubborn and now they're furious. They don't want to hear it. It could be they're in denial, but their indulgence and, and their habitual patterning of cursing others got them into a trap because they came after somebody who was of extremely high value. And they're getting a big smackdown. They're in danger. Shall I just say, they came after somebody that this main male emperor considers high, extremely high value. 
Oh yeah, he's giving them a nightmare. He's giving them the nightmare that they gave you. He's putting them through what they put you through. It's so wild when people can um, talk the talk and they can be so judgmental and so hurtful and all of that stuff, you know, but they've never actually um, experienced the stuff that they're like being so brutal about. And then when it comes their time to walk the walk, um, they're like freaked out because they know. How hard it is. They're in despair. They're in despair. Because they lied to get money and now they're having a misfortune. It's in the courthouse. This is over. They got a coffin. These friends, this network of people are frightened because they're suffering natural disasters. They could be um, in risky situations. This wealthy man didn't get what they were expecting. They're not happy. They have habits that they um, can't change or that they don't think they can change. They're separated from everybody and there is unfinished business happening here. This main female is seen as a sweetheart and she's seen as privileged. She's a sovereign being and she's leaving this baggage behind. She's moving forward into a happier time. She's going to have a family, a, a nice family, a sweetheart family, not one that wants to hurt her till the ends of the freaking universe, multiverse, time, whatever. No, she's gonna go have fun with actual family who are, you know, going to be able to enjoy these gifts with her. To be at peace with her. To um, empathize and be, you know, intimately connected, energetically, emotionally, mentally, working it out as a team, as a power couple. The health of one is affects the health of the other. And so be having empathy and making sure that each, each portion is in optimal health in all ways. That's how you gain this. If you can get really good at it, you know, on your own, then hopefully when you get with the other person who's also really good at it, you can like, poof. So we got the emperor here. He's right on time. He's it's it's the scheduled time. He's he's an official person here in service. Here in service. He's sending a message to this wise guy. His pathway is closed. His values were all about money. He's bound to the commitments that he um committed to while wearing masks during this robbery attempt. There's no love in them. <clears throat> the reunion is happening. And they need consolation because there's no foes allowed. They're being cleared from the foundation. No foes against love. No mask wearing, thieving, you know, underhanded, binding. No. No foes get to attend the reunion and they're they need consolation they're very upset about that
People are talking. People are talking about this. We got Ken here. Shadow side wants to mend the connection. They want to avoid prison, so they need to get back into your good graces after trying to unalive you and cause you hell, suffering for eternity. They want to avoid prison, and you are the one that can make that happen for them. That's funny. They want to escape. They weren't able to steal your... They weren't able to steal... They weren't able to traumatize your soul for eternity. Let's just say that. They're waiting. So they're not a sweetheart. They're not happy. They're waiting. They lost, they want to escape. This sovereign being, even while separated from everybody and everything, they were not lonely. They remained calm. Alliances saw what was happening here, saw her as trustworthy, saw her as honest, saw her as worth saving. And they came in and now she's sitting here all peaceful with an ace of wands and an ace of pentacles. These ones were bringing um, conflict to her purpose, to her status, to her, her purpose is the sanctity of marriage. She's here to gain a victory for the sanctity of marriage. And she did. And the emperor is here <clears throat> enforcing some serious stuff um, regarding these soldiers re, um, who wanted to fight. Servant in the reverse. Servant in the reverse. So they're doing bad. They um, are a servant of a lower vibrational entity. They're sick, feeling broken and shattered because they failed. A mature man going through withdrawals over this rejection. You gained a victory. You're being remembered. You love yourself. They're remembering what they did to you. They want forgiveness because they're being cast away, and they're um, they're taking they're being taken for a ride in the mind. They're not your friend. Yeah, they're being taken for a ride in the mind. They're they're um, suffering. They're suffering an illness. They're they're wanting to come forth to um, explain why you know they drove you like they did. They want to apologize because, but they're being held back from your location, so they they don't know where you're at. They're being held back from your location. If they try to come to your location. They're going to get this. They're being held back from your location. If they attempt to come toward you to apologize or for any reason whatsoever, I do believe this main male is going to give them this. They need to they just stay away from you. Because they're going to get what they're get, they're getting reciprocity, or it could be that you're entering into a relationship with reciprocity with this main male. Is you're going to get what you gave. He's going to fill up your love cups too. Not instead of having ten love cups that are always full and overflowing, he's going to come in here with ten love cups too. You guys are going to be overflowing, overflowing in this great fortune. Yeah, there's a wedding. A, recep a wedding that is reciprocation, equal give and take. Humorous, happy. These ones are in sigh. They're, they're sighing. They're in sorrow. Because this is over. There's the death card there. These pleasure seekers. Old woman, all up in her thoughts.
enemy got a message. The Lord sent a message to the enemy. The Lord sent a message to the enemy. A scholar. Regarding a child. A thief. Who had hope of faithfulness. Getting death and a journey of the mind. Getting death and going on a journey of the mind. They're going for a mind trip. A young woman and a priest. I hope this clarifies something that you already intuitively knew, and I will see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.